I've been wearing these Origin um, Boondockers in their Coyote leather for the last month or so, so I thought it was about time to just do a very quick uh, update video just covering the uh, break-in experiences, the sizing, and my first impressions actually having worn these boots. Um, these are absolutely lovely, really nicely made. Uh, my first impressions getting them out of the box were that they were going to be a good boot, and I haven't been disappointed. So the Coyote leather is really good looking. Um, very reminiscent of the Red Wing Hawthorne leathers, which I've always wanted to try out in their um, Iron Ranger model, and eventually I, I certainly will. Um, but these were really nice and a good way of picking up some of that rough out suede leather um, just to mix it up in my boot collection. So if we start off with the sizing, um, these are a US size 9, I'm a UK size 8. Um, and that I consider to be my true size, so I'd say these came in true to size. Um, Width-wise, these are D. Um, Origin do offer um, a, a, a wide fitting boot in double E width, and I think whilst these have yielded, and I'll cover that in um, in the break-ins at discussion, but they are relatively um, generous, but. If you've got a wider foot, I certainly would say that you should take advantage of the option to go for a, a wide-fitting boot uh, that they offer. The break-in has been great. It, it's, it was expected to be a simple break-in. Um, the boots don't have a uh, seam around the toe. It's not a mock toe style, obviously. Um, and that's one of the things that I always find to present an extra challenge because you've got to find those little folds and bend through that seam to remove those pinches on your toes but with a single piece uh, toe with a what I think to be a, a leather construction underneath making this toe cap um, it's been really really easy to break in um, pretty much comfortable all day from from the first day of wear obviously if you've broken in boots before you always take it a little bit cautiously but they've been great to break in to be perfectly honest I still think I've got a little bit of uh, width to yield just to get that sort of truly uh, comfortable friend boot and maybe sort of step up to uh, some thicker socks but you know these have been pretty easy to break in. Um, one of the areas of concern I had was around the back here the the structure at the back and we'll show you a little close up in a minute um, there's probably sort of three layers of leather making up this heel cap maybe four if you if it's got a leather heel cap in there it's got a bit of taping on the inside um, there's a good amount of really nice detailing and, and nice structure in there but I did wonder how easy that was going to be to break in and um, it is not proved a problem at all to be perfectly honest. As with all boots on breaking you really want to get your your foot back into that heel cap and allow your sort of boot to mould around your, your foot. Um, one of the main points I find to be uncomfortable is uh, rubbing at the back if you don't get your heel back in there. Now on these there isn't a bellows tongue which um, if you go use this in a very wet environment or in a work environment having a bellows tongue is, is often something you'd, you'd really want to seek out but not having a bellows tongue does allow you to speed up that break in by getting that tight fit in there so you don't have another thing to break in you don't need to break in the bellows tongue so yeah the break in's been really good um, the soles are wonderfully comfy uh, comfy these are sort of the Vibram Christie um, if you follow my channel, if you've ever worn um, this style of sole, you'll know that if you're wearing it on hard surfaces, it is a quick wearing sole. Um, the heritage and background of this style of sole is really farm working, so you're not bringing in uh, huge amounts of mud into your homestead or whatever it might be. And, uh, and also you've got that sort of full support for full days on your feet. Um, so these soles look great. They feel great, they're very, very comfortable, but the compromise you make with a Christie sole is uh, longevity. Having said that, um, I've tested these uh, with a uh, gerometer tester, um, just to see how hard this rubber is, and these will wear and are wearing uh, more robustly than the, the soles you'd find on a Red Wing, so these are coming at around about a hardness of 52, 53. Um, the Red Wing soles are somewhat softer at 49 or 50 uh, by my measurements so these will wear a little harder than, than Red Wings but I think um, you've always got to accept that Christie sole on concrete is a compromise of comfort uh, at the sake of longevity but 
you know, it will certainly give you a, a good year or two of wear and the construction, the welted construction should afford the opportunity to resole as well. So just thinking about the, the leather, as I say, this is the uh, Coyote and they call it a mill spec suede uh, waterproof leather. Um, Red Wing, I think we call this a rough out leather. Um, very, very nice to my eye. Uh, lots of different sort of textures and shades in there. There's a slight variation on these quarters here where it's not so, slight as rough, not quite as rough as the rest of the uh, the panels. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but certainly to my eye, that's quite a attractive variation. Um, it might just be chance, but the waterproofness of this leather, um, tried and tested. Um, early days, these absolutely got soaked and they kept my feet very, very dry. Um, initially the water completely beads on top of it and it takes a little while before it starts um, actually soaking into the leather at all. So I don't know what it's treated with but they're certainly a nice robust waterproof leather. Um, very easy to care for so you're not oiling this, you're just simply brushing it. And what I found is uh, very early doors I've used this uh, Red Wing uh, Rough Out and Nubuck cleaner kit. So it's got a, uh, a little brush in it and a, a rubber. Um, let's just show you that. So the little wire brush, obviously you don't want to go at your boots too hard with this, but what you do find with this slightly rougher texture is that it will pick up uh, sort of bits of grit and mud and stuff like that. So you, I just give it a little brush off just to tidy up and certainly give it a very gentle um, brush around the seam. And the rubber that comes with the kit, I think you can use to, to get out any stains, but you can also use to um, clean up the edge of your uh, Christie sole if you want to get some of that uh, that nice white coloration back. Also talking about the leather, being rough out, the the the, uh, the leather is basically reversed. Um, you've got the the smooth outer face, albeit it's not oiled, um, but that's on the inside of the boot. And what I've noticed with that is that it's slowly patinering as it sort of gets worn by my foot as it absorbs. Uh, sweat and my, my hands touch it as I put these on so it's bringing up a nice patina on the inside and I think that's a you know if, if you like your boots and you're interested in the sort of how the aging process and patina builds um, I just think that's a really nice extra feature really so I think that's about it really so that that's a month's wear um, as I say you know that's they've been wearable all day long from the first day and you know wearing them in earnest probably barely a week in and I was happily walking all day in these so yeah a great boot as I say I also picked up the Bison so they will be featured on my channel at a later date I'll be doing sort of an update on these probably at the six month mark maybe the year and just seeing how they've weathered how they've fared over that period um, but so far I've been very very happy with these um, if you want to find out a bit more about the company um, do check out my first video but um, the, the background is really just bringing back uh, employment to their hometown in Maine. Um, they started off with uh, MMA, sort of uh, judo gi and uh, you know the, the, the gowns and stuff. And they, they've diversified into all sorts of things, including energy drinks, boots, um, jeans, all that sort of stuff. So really, really interesting company. I really like what they're trying to do. They're massively successful at what they're trying to do, so that, you know they're doing really well, and, and I think they deserve it to be honest. And for a company which I think is in their first year or two years of boot production, um, you know, I think these are a very, very good reflection on what they can achieve for the future. Okay, well, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Um, lots of boots, boot reviews, a bit of denim, a bit of everyday carry, fainter pens, pen knives, that sort of stuff. Um, if you haven't seen it before, please check it out. We might share some other common interests. If you thought this video was useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you've used these boots yourself, please share your opinions and what you found out about them. And uh, of course, I'd love you subscribed. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.